Hello everyone, Larsenix is here and welcome to another game of breakdown. The game we're breaking down today is called Blood Card. Like literally that's what it's called. Blood Cards. A blood card. It's your choice. I don't see no S in there, so I'm just gonna say blood card. I don't know why the hell they're call it blood cards. But it's choice. It is a attempt at splay slay the spider. And it's 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 different. Now, I don't know if it's good or bad. It's on early access, so you know, like I said, it's still chain chance to change. Chance to change. Now, this is going to game, and let me show you how it plays. Like, unlike Slayer Spy for a record, you don't start off with different characters. I think you only start with this character. Now, the game, I like the graphics. The graphics alone from, from Face Slay Spy looks better. It looks better. There are things I don't like about the game. Um, I'm gonna explain as I go on. So let's just continue. Let's just go with the game. Oh, just like okay, so just like Slay Spy, when you, depending how you uh you go, move on heels, get a selection card. Right now, I don't know. Get a random epic card or hundred gold. Let's get. Let's see what the hell an epic card is. Okay, unlike Slay the Spire. With, with the, thing, the difference between Slay Spy and this game. Slay Spy, you had a map that you go and you pick your direction. In this game, you pick what you, what you want to happen. So if you want to fight enemies the whole time, you can do that. If you want to get events and just do shops and avoid any specifics, you can do that. So I think that's kind of cool. But they're just, they're, they're just things that are different. So let me show you combat. Like I said, just like it's kind of like Slay Spire. Music for the record, kind of annoying, but yeah, you get used to it. Okay, first off, there's no HP meter. Well, okay, how does that work? They have HP here. Why does your guy doesn't have HP? Good question. At first, I didn't know what the hell the HP was. So, you know, you obviously do your HP attacks. Your HP is your deck. No matter how. Depending on how much card you have, that is your health. And when cards get discarded, that's the that's the cards that you, that's the health that you lose. So it's kind of like a win lose situation when you play cards. So you have to kind of like add card always. Oh yeah, they try to bat on the die, right? Uh, well, the, well, the thing's a bat on the Okay, so the one thing I don't like, you don't see how much damage these guys do to you. That will help to choose if you want to defend or not. Unless they spy, you can't. You just gotta assume that you want to go for damage or you want to go for block. And when you're blocking, like I said, you're blocking your deck. You're not blocking your health. So I, said, I have no idea how much damage they were doing. I had to block. I said, when you use your cards, you do lose some of them. Some do get reshuffled. A4 block, shuffle two cards. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. That works. And like I said, the, the whole point is to to get cards back. I like, kind of like get them back into your deck. Like, like kind of like reshuffle all, all the time. Was that attack boost? Yeah, I figured that. So you probably get attacks. So let's defend. And then I'm going to get some. Like I said, you heal. Healing is like I said, you're just getting four cards back. And if they were to hit your, like hit you, if he wasn't blocking, then you lose cards from your deck, which kind of interesting. Like I said, it adds a little structure. It's kind of weird. So like I said, you, I recommend adding cards because it will save your life. Now, unlike Slay Spire, you have more choices, and on top of that, when you add a card, you add the whole pile. So you add it, you, like this one has three, this one has three, this one has two. This one's one. You are adding all of them into your deck. So there's always a remember that. Let's see this. Go to that. To that enemy. Block. Repeat the block. block. Repeat this process until all enemy blocks are removed. That is good. That is really good. Deal four damage, discard all. No, this is really. Like I said, there's a lot of strategy to this game. Oh, that doesn't sound good now. It's too early. It's 
stop calling you because the skill card can do energy, otherwise, who said? That yeah, that's worth it. That's not worth it. So, with two fatigue cards into your deck. I don't know what fatigue does. I'm guessing it's like vulnerable and slay fire. I'm gonna go with the sandbag. I'm gonna go for Iron Will. I think it's all about it. Like I said, as the game continues, you pick the path until you get to the boss. Now, the one thing that did happen when I played the game, and I don't know if that happens towards the end or or just randomly, so I'm gonna play the game and see if it happens, if it pops up before I mention it. What is this game for a block? What is this card for hell? But, uh, this card for a Okay, oh, game. No. Oh, okay, so you say no, you just. Like this and then, oh, I can't do that. But I said, unless Slay Spy, you don't use it, you won't lose the cards in your hand, which is good and bad. Because sometimes you get a need to lose some cards to get new cards, but sometimes you just, you just fucked. Like, like I said, also, there's no music. Kinda like dead. Like the fan. Like I said, I'm just trying to build the fan so that I don't lose my cards. The only good thing, like I said, with the, the fact that the, your hand is your deck, it's easier to you don't have to worry about like slay spire. Sleep. There's no resting. There's no um. There's no resting. There's no smitting. There's no um. There's no relics, unfortunately. Oh, okay, he run. He does come randomly. This is death. He he'll come around in a while. I don't know what active, what triggers him, or what, like, how to stop him, but he just comes randomly. And he'll do damage to you, and he'll leave, and that's it. But he'll come around once in a blue moon, and he'll try to just annoy you. Finish him with every, uh, every. What's that? This? Also, there's other effects. This will work. This will work only if you have a single card in your hand. Oh, it sucks. This will work if there's... Okay. This will work only if there are more... Almost. Okay. So, like, the outmost is, like, if there's a lot of cards in this card pile. Finishing moves is if the last card in your hand. They have equipment as well that you can equip. And it goes on top of here that does a whole bunch of crazy effects. This turn all attack cards to zero. They inflict no damage. Why the fuck do I want that? I'm gonna go with the weapon. Fuck it. I'm like, I only got 40 bucks. That's not a lot. I'm gonna go for an event and see what happens. Like I said, they all random events. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll take all of them. These are good. These are pretty decent uh, equipment cards. Now is that you can pick whoever you fight. You can pick. You can pick you if you want to fight elites. You can pick if you want to fight regular enemies the whole time. Like you don't. You can choose what you want. I don't have an epic card yet, so that's it. I'll do a defend and this uh, that. Oh, he does way more damage. Like I said, you can't see how much damage he does. It's kind of just suck because like. If you wanted to not like take damage, like how do you not know what you're defending? That's definitely something you should add. Like I said, the game is still in early access. I think it's like six dollars on Steam. And like I said, it's a pretty cool game to play. Like it's pretty insane. Like I said, if you don't do enough, they don't do enough damage. You don't lose cards. Good. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna play with it and defend. Yes. The card that I don't need that card. The card's useless. Oh my god, death dude, leave me alone. Yeah, death is annoying. That's the only thing I don't like about this game. I hope they take him off. I got uh, they need to take him out today. This is their choice. You have you can decide to benefit or not from this effect. Card. 
At the start of your turn, take four damage. Gain two. Oh, interesting. I remember this equipment. It's pretty expensive. Pick one card from your draw pile. Destroy it. Other than say no, it's not worth it. Use all your energy to fire X that attacks. I'm going to pick this one because you might not have no defense and that might come in handy. The good thing about the shop is like, you know, I don't have a, it looks like I don't have a lot of money. The, the game is pretty cheap. Like the, 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 the fights are cheap. Like the cards, some of the cards are cheap at least. At the time of teammates, death. Attack increases and HP is recovered. So should I kill him first then? That's what it sounds like. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Like I said, you don't lose your cards, you get to do some damage or something. Like you're saying, you lose like that when they hit, you lose the amount, the amount of cards they do. So they hit for. I should might as well just play it. It's, it's zero. Oh, okay, this kind of sucks. Might as well defend up. I guess I don't think we lose defend like in Slayer's fire. I think we just stack. Okay, you do. Do boost attacks, that's not fun. Okay, I'm not getting no type of love right now. No, I don't need to lose the fact. Let's get more. Actually, I want to lose this one. Good. That way I can get more defense and then not lose it. Now, death is probably going to come eventually. I, I feel, you see, look, death is coming. Oh, he's talking about death himself. Man, this whole time I thought he was just crazy. That makes a lot more sense. Right, come on, hurry up. Ah, yeah, of course. Fuck. This guy. Is that very annoying. Like, is that, I think you can attack death, but there's really no point. Like, he doesn't, like, he doesn't go away. He just, he just stays there forever. Does he attack, um, this guy too? He does, okay. There's a benefit for that, at least. But still annoying. So I guess if you can withstand him, then he'll kill everybody, but it's not worth it. Let's see, every time you know, it's not worth it. When this equipment is played, equip extra five copies of it. What the fuck? That sounds evil. Remove one random. As I just played this game not so long ago, but some of the cards are still never seen before. Deal six unblockable damage, grant one block to the target. And make it unable to attack this turn. That's really good. Like I said, they got cards like this that grant the enemy effects, but at the same time, they can't do nothing. Nah, that's not worth it. All your copies, all your cards are not that need to destroy. That's pretty good. No, no, I don't destroy though. Like I said, they have cards that, uh, I'm gonna do one more fact and then go to, sh uh, to a shop. I don't wanna fight any, really. A league last time kicked my ass. In front of you is a deep black hole, and for some reason, you have the urge to throw something. I don't know. Let's throw. Let's see what we can throw. Oh, yeah, you want to throw a card. 